Hello everyone and welcome to Value Search Clinics. We are starting our skill stations for basic suturing and today we are just going to have a look at the instruments and how to hold them. Very important and routinely it is given that you should hold it in one particular manner but you will see in this short video that holding the needle holder differs according to the depth of suturing. So, when you have to suture in depth, your grip may change. Okay. So, let us identify the instruments first quickly. This is the needle holder. Okay. Okay. And it is a very particularly designed instrument. Okay. With a box joint. Compared to an artery or a hemostat. Okay. Even this has the locking system. So, you can see the locks. Okay. The ratchets. There are three ratchets in the artery also. This is a curved hemostat. Okay, you can see the cow here. You can see the difference. Okay, it's very easy to identify the difference between these two. Uh, not very challenging. How do you hold them? The common teaching is the thumb and the ring finger go here. Okay, the thumb and the ring finger go here. Okay, and this finger supports one of the limbs. The finger supports the instrument. Now how to use the locks in this you have to use the thumb and the finger which is inside this okay and this finger so the two of them press against each other and it can be locked see it again so just press it it will be locked press again lock press again lock when you want to open you just have to have a twist okay the thumb goes pushes a bit anteriorly and the finger retracts okay something like this and it opens up right so again push across each other open right so that is how you can use the hemostat or the artery forcep usually we use it to hold one end of the suture when it's required similarly the needle holder ratchets can be used in similar manner okay lock it and open right again same holding pattern the thumb the ring finger one finger to support and one finger here but this grip is going to help you when you are doing surface or when you are doing vertical suturing okay you also need to do reverse sutures sometimes you need to rotate the instrument at a depth Sometimes the needle holders are very long in length, especially when you are doing liver, pancreas, pelvis, right, in abdomen. So in these cases, the instruments are very long. You have to suture in the depth. There is not enough space there. So the grips can change, okay. You may have to hold it like this. This helps in vertical suturing where the needle is horizontal, okay other way is instead of this only one finger okay this is commonly used by a lot of surgeons then this okay again used by a lot of surgeons this grip helps in a way how because you can what can you do when you have less assistance you can just rotate it and use the next instrument do your dissection or hold something once that is done rotate it back you have your needle holder some simple tricks looks difficult it's very easy just remove your thumb rotate it like this okay so three fingers become free use your artery forcep do the dissection or whatever you want once you are done rotate it back you are ready right so some simple maneuvers that you can use needle holder with but remember that this grip alone is not going to solve all the situation. So you have to learn the various techniques using it like this, using it like this, using it like this, okay. And the reverse suturing also, okay. So you may hold it this way, but you have to do reverse suturing. Usual reverse suturing is easier when you are not holding both the finger hooks with two fingers okay so that is how the needle holder is designed and the scissor this is for skin plastic surgeons use it commonly and this is a tube forcep okay so this is a tube forcep 
people use it for skin but i don't like to hold any tissue because it can cause trauma but two force helps you in maneuvering the needle as well as the sutures okay so this is the basic thing that you will have in your suture kit and then based on what thing you are suturing you will take nylon okay for skin silk now we don't commonly use we use it only to fix drains but ethylon or nylon is basically used for skin monofilament so that is what you use catgut and monocryl okay we use for subcuticular so this will be your suturing set that we will be using in our videos as well i hope that's a fairly routine instruments that you see in each and every ot the needle holder two forcep the artery forcep or the hemostat and the suture cutting season thank you